Seattle Mariners hosting the Houston Astros, game number three of the ALDS. Do or die for the Mariners. Both of these teams are minus 110 on the money line. The over under is seven runs. The Astros are actually the underdog getting a run and a half. They are minus 240, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The Mariners laying a run and a half are plus 196, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two. Now, McCullers did not pitch against the Mariners this year. He did pitch against them four times last year. Six innings, four runs, four earned. They won that game eight to six, and that was in Seattle. Six innings, two runs, two earned. They won that game 12 to three. Five innings, no runs, no earned. They lost that game four to nothing in Seattle. Six and two thirds, no runs, no earned. They won that game 11 to two. Kirby pitched once against the Astros this year. Four innings, two runs, two earned. They lost that game three to two in 10 innings. Now the Astros are five and three in McCullers' last eight starts because he only had eight starts this year. He's averaging five and two thirds innings pitched in those games and 6.3 strikeouts per game in his last eight games. Now, the Mariners are seven and three in Kirby's last 10 starts. He's averaging four and a third innings pitched and 4.8 strikeouts per game in his last 10. The home team's on a three game winning streak. The Astros are on a three game winning streak. The Astros are eight and two against the Mariners in the last 10. The over under is five and five. The over seven is five, four and one. The favorite winning these games by two runs or more is six and four laying a run and a half. And the favorite is eight and two on the money line. If McCullers pitched once against the Mariners this year and beat them, I'm pretty sure he would probably be the favorite in this game. But I'm gonna take the Astros as a dog. Astros with the money line, Astros getting the runs in this set of circumstances. And I'm gonna go over seven just because every time McCullers pitched against them, they were pretty, pretty much high scoring games even though it was last year. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.